Hey, good morning to you. Um, cool, a very cool summer morning here in Kentucky. Uh, enough that I put on the Wooby jacket. And man, I wish I could tell you who makes this. Uh, I've worn this and had this for so long that the tag is worn off of it. And I can't tell you who sent it to me, but I love these things. But um, Six Blade Friday, right? So I wanted to talk about a few things as they relate to beginners and safety and uh, etiquette, if you will, when it comes to fixed blades. So there's a few things that I've noticed. I'm, I'm very fortunate that I get a, to train a lot of people that are brand new to the outdoors. And one of the things I do is I lay out about, I don't know, 30, 40 different knives in front of them and talk about handles and and uh, sheath material, grinds, points, tips, metal, uh, Rockwell hardness, and all the things that go along with it. And there's a few things that keep coming up that I thought I would just put out on video because I noticed that people that are brand new to the outdoors, um, they feel awkward around knives and they should to a degree because they're trying to be safe. And I like that and I wanna encourage that. But to help people not feel so awkward around knives when they're new to them, I thought I'd throw a couple things out there. Actually more than a couple, but first thing comes up, let's take a look at this Kydex sheath. These are the ones made for the Shaman East by LT Wright Knives. They're great sheaths. Uh, I'm a big fan of them. I bought a tech lock for this one and to put on the back. Um, but one of the things that comes up is surrounds the tech lock. The other one is around this piece right here. And I don't even know what to call that, but it's the thing that secures the knife in the sheath. It slides, it has a gasket on it. Um, a lot of people don't know how this works. And so if I'm gonna hand a knife over to somebody and it's locked, for example, then I'm going to say something like, hey, I know it was a struggle for me or something like that, trying to figure out how this thing works and let them know that I too have struggled in the past with it. And then I'll physically show them, okay, so when you want to pull the blade out, you push it, push it down this direction, you pull the knife out, and then you have a good handle on the knife. Um, when you secure it, you pull this back up and it helps keep it in there tighter. <clears throat> and physically, what I mean by that, and this is just a hint, okay, helpful. Physically show them how to do that. Don't just talk about it. Um, people learn by watching people do things, learning by listening to people talking about things, and they do, and by doing things. And so if we do all three, like I tell them what I'm doing, then I show them what I do, and then I let them do it, then they learn and they retain that information. So it's important to help people retain information when you're teaching them, right? Instead of just burp, 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 regurgitating parroted information. Um, and then I'll also show them specifically how to use the tech lock and show them the grips on either side and how to squeeze and, and, exactly how to utilize, utilize this tech lock, because this can be confusing again to someone that's a beginner. For those of you who are experienced, it seems like, yeah, that's silly. Um, and then like I have this inner tube on here to secure some stuff and I'll explain that sort of thing to them going, this is not typical. Uh, this is not what everybody keeps on a sheath and explain some things about what it is that this sheath does and what I use it for and stuff like that. Now, another one that seems to come up as it relates to the leather sheaths, and again, this is another shaman ease, um, is the dangler. And a lot of people have questioned about this, and I actually see, what are you doing? It's a tracker after for something. I see, from my perspective, a lot of people utilizing this in different ways and my opinion on it is if you're using it and you're out doing stuff, then go for it, okay? But let me talk about some experiences that I have as it relates to leather sheaths and danglers, okay? So I used to do quite a bit when I was growing up of what's called a um, squirrel shoot and primitive reenacting, where we would literally run through the woods, loading uh, rifles on the run, shooting targets, starting flint and steel fires, and a host of other things. We are gonna be doing it this year at our uh, Nature Reliance School rendezvous, the first weekend of December, open to anybody. So if you'd love to come, we'd love to have you join us. But uh, one of the things that I see is that from that perspective, you don't want this knife to bounce out because you're literally running, diving under logs and stuff of that nature. 
and you don't want to have a knife that falls out of a sheath, so you need to secure it. Uh, a knife like this, or a sheath like this, where there is no more security other than wet forming it, is okay at best in that type of uh, use, okay? Uh, the other thing is that if you're going to be doing activities like that and you use the dangler, then this is really going to bounce around and you'll definitely want to tie it off at your leg and help secure it, okay? So that's why uh, I wanted a Kydex sheath for these knives as well because that completely secures that knife and keeps it safe. The other thing that I think often gets missed, and this is, I don't know if this is the intended purpose of a dangler, uh, I just know that this is a good use of a dangler, is this portion goes on your belt so that if you're carrying a backpack, then the knife is actually below your belt. If you're carrying it on your belt right here, which is where most people carry it, and then you put a waist pack on, or you put a backpack on and it has a waist belt, then this can be very problematic um, because the knife is between the waist belt, it gets uncomfortable, and then you don't carry things very far. So that's one of the purposes, I believe, and if it's not designed for this, you can use it for that, to hang the knife literally below. The only thing that's between your pack belt and you is this strip of leather here. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is basically some knife safety. Now, as we hand off a knife to somebody, I think it goes without saying that you should never hand a knife, even if it's sheathed, like, like if I'm handing it to you, sheathed or unsheathed, I don't point the blade towards you and I don't, or the tip of the blade, and I don't point to the sharp side of the blade, the edge to you. What I like to do is I like to hold the blade out with the sharp edge and the point away from the partner, my person, my friend, and then look at them in the eye, literally look them in the eye until they either nod or say, yeah, I've got it or some variation of it before I ever let go of it. And then another thing that I really like to help beginners with is that if something were to happen and the knife starts to fall, we just let it fall. We don't go about grabbing a knife out of the air. Um, you see a lot of shooters talk about the same thing. If their firearm's dropping, they just let it drop and they don't try to reach and grab it because that's when mistakes happen and firearms go off by you getting inside the trigger well. If, 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 if it's a subpar weapon, right? So with that said, um, I, I hope, I hope I've encouraged you to at least consider that not everybody that may come to a class or you may go into the outdoors with has a great amount of knowledge as it relates to knives, etiquette, safety, and stuff of that nature. And we should be, hey, if we wanna be encouragers of people to get outside more, then we should assume that they know nothing. And then if we find that they do know more, then be okay with it. My experience has been different than what I see a lot of people suggesting in that I think most people would prefer me to assume they don't know anything and bring them up and find out where they are than to assume they know a whole lot and then just hand them a knife and they are then put in a position of feeling awkward. So with that said, as an instructor, it's my job to read people as they come in, look at what they're wearing, uh, look at their packs, and start to make assessments on what kind of people I have as it relates to their experience. You know, I can look at shoes and packs and knives and stuff of that nature and tell a fair amount about somebody and their experience. Uh, if everything's brand new and looks pretty, I think that's telling. So, well, that's it. I hope these ideas have helped. And as always, I want us all to be encouragers to getting more people outside doing things safely. And thank you for joining me for Fixed Blade Friday.